Hey guys, welcome to week 30 of 52 and hashtag Realtor Life. So you wanna sell and you're saying, where am I gonna go? Inventory is so, so low. And you're right, it is, it's pretty awesome. But what I'm gonna ask you to practice is if you're thinking of selling, please call me because I need inventory so badly. I have so many buyers looking for houses. Um, there are some options you can do. I want you to make sure that you're wearing your business hat. Keep your business hat on. Exercise patience. Um, be flexible because you know selling and buying a house can be stressful, but a lot of parties are involved. So I want you to know and trust the process. Make sure that you have the same title company on both the buy and the sell so they can communicate in a way. You don't want two different title companies because then when you close on your house, and you need those funds to buy this house, it's a whole thing. So make sure you write in the same title company on the contract. Also, when you get a contract on your house, or if you're gonna buy one, your lender is key if he's a good, he or she is a good, strong lender. Make sure that your realtors are talking to the lenders every week to get a loan status update, make sure that everything's cool, smooth, easy, and good. Sometimes I'll get a loan or a pre-qualification and if it's a certain loan company or a certain lender, I've had experiences where I'm like, oh, you know, it makes me a little bit worried. So make sure that you've got a good lender in your pocket, you're using the same title agency and that your realtors have a good communicative relationship. Now listen, it's my job to protect you and it's that agent's job to protect their agent but there is an element of the way that we work together because you guys, a huge percentage of deals fall apart simply because and how the realtors communicate with each other. So super, super important. Just know that if you wanna sell, you need to sell to buy, you can do it. You gotta be patient. I've done it with clients this last six months. I've probably been in multiple offer situations probably four times, maybe more. Um, and we've gotten, we haven't gotten all of them, but we eventually did get one. So the right house is waiting for you, okay? Have faith with it, keep your tenacity going, keep your business hat on. There are some strategies to getting your offer accepted, which I can talk to you about in next week's video. So as always, if you have anybody looking to buy or sell in real estate, please send them my way. I'll take great care of them and I'll talk to you next week for week 31 of 52 and hashtag Reels for Life.